Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel and welcome to really one of the most beautiful and most spectacular chess compositions that I've seen in my life. The position that you see right now on the board was a beautiful and prize winning uh, chess composition created by international master from Israel, Yohanan Afek. And Yohanan Afek is really really an interesting chess person for sure. Maybe he's not famous and popular for his chess games or maybe uh, for winning some tournaments but uh, his uh, resume in the chess community is really really impressive because he's the only player in chess history that has now five very important chess titles he's not only as i said an international master in chess he's also a grand master in creating chess compositions in creating chess problems chess puzzles really really wild stuff and also he's a feeder master in chess problem solving and also an international chess arbiter and also an international chess judge for chess compositions which is really really an impressive resume so he should be really we respected a really impressive impressive career for sure by Johan and Afek and this was now his prize winning as I said uh, chess composition back from 2012 in my opinion really one of the most spectacular most beautiful chess combinations that I've seen in my life so if you want to you can pause the video of course try to see now the winning idea here for white uh, otherwise let's dive into this uh, wild position because this is really spectacular, this is really brutal, really one of the most impressive chess combinations that I've seen in my life. So let's start with this with this immortal tactical sequence. So let's see the issues. For instance, if white, let's see a bad move just for white. This was of course not something that we should play, but I wanted to show you the actual problems here for white. If white plays a passive move like rook to d7, then the issue is now a check on the second rank. Of course, we can deliver it also here on uh, on uh, g2. Now, when the king steps back, we deliver another check, and now this rook is coming into the game here on a5. After a couple more moves, you get checkmated here by the rook and knight, uh, queen's activity. So, this is not working. Also, what could be tempting here is this idea, rook to c8. But this is not working, because after king to c8, a rook to e8 you have only of course the square on c7 and it seems so that bishop to d6 could be the winning idea but this is not working after queen to d6 and f8 the promotion black will simply take the queen takes f8 rook takes f8 and now okay we have this pawn the d pawn is rolling you can maybe get your rook behind on f1 but now after d takes c1 rook to c1 there is now again this annoying check on a5 and now after king to b2 okay you have this pawn on uh, b2 b3 but now after rook to a6 and rook to c6 rook takes c6 king to c6 this is not working it's only a thematic draw you cannot promote only a pawn here on the b file so this is tempting seems like a winning idea to sacrifice the rook here but as i said it's not working so the only winning move here for white is to play the move rook to b7 of course black has only one square king to a8 and now there comes a beautiful beautiful spectacular move we have here the rook sacrifice on a7 if you don't accept the challenge if you play king to b8 then rook to b7 is obviously a beautiful checkmate so you have to play knight takes a7 and now rook to e8 you don't have access of course to the b7 uh, square if you cover with the queen of course we'll simply uh, take out the queen then we we'll deliver a check uh, with the bishop and then we promote here game over here for black so it's not working so after move uh here knight to a7 and rook to e8 you have to now cover with the knight knight to c8 must move here for black and now after rook to c8 king to a7 now another brilliant move here for um uh for for white white has to play now a stunning bishop to c5 really really wild stuff sacrificing now again the bishop if you don't accept the challenge of course if you play something like king to a6 then the promotion is actually working because after a check and the king to a3 there is no further checkmate uh, threat with the move rook to a5 that we have seen previously that's working here for black rook to a5 is not possible because this uh, rank is covered now by the bishop on c5 so after move bishop to c5 the problem is now you have to accept the challenge you have to play rook to c5 but now another stunning tactic for instance if you play f8 here the promotion it seems again tempting that you could uh, promote immediately the queen actually it's a thematic draw because um, again black has this annoying check on a5 you have to play somewhere over here on b4 but now queen to d2 
is solving the problems you have to play something i don't know king to c4 and now a new check you have to always stay on the queen side that's the issue if you start to run towards the king side here then you could get even checkmated so this is not working so let's uh, let's go back so we have seen now f8 the promotion of the queen here immediately is not working so first of all you have to play rook to a8 decoying now the king to the back rank uh here you could of course try here something like king to b6 but now f8 the promotion comes again uh with this uh, beautiful beautiful activity of the queen and notice now that the rook is covering again the fifth uh, uh the fifth rank and is covering also of course uh here the a um, the a file because you can deliver again this annoying check but now no further uh checks on a5 are possible we'll simply trade it off and go into a favorable endgame of course really really stunning stunning tactic so after move rook to a8 the issue is now you have to accept the challenge now again for black now the promotion comes here um uh, with a check you have to play now king to, uh, queen to b8 if you play here uh this idea queen, king to a7 uh to get out of this mess then queen to c5 comes with the check and uh, we simply push the pawn further we have this knight and it's a thematic win here for white so it's not working so after move uh, rook to a8 to here with the promotion uh, on uh, on f8 you have to now cover with your queen on b8 and now we have queen to c5 but this is far far away from being over here for black black starts now to push the pawn on the d file we have seen previously this motif uh could be working but now of course white is also the pushing uh is pushing here the pawn on the c file now another problem here for black black cannot promote here to queen because uh, this idea uh c takes b8 comes with a check you have to now take it out and now we simply take out the queen the game is over here for black so in order to stay in the game after move c7 black has to promote here tonight has to play now uh here c1 the promotion and of course the promotion comes with the direct threat against the king the issue is now after uh, queen to c1 this is not working uh, because here after queen to c7 queen takes c7 it's a stalemate position so actually white can never take out now the knight on c1 really really wild stuff if of course white doesn't react here uh play something like you know b2 queen to b2 or queen to a3 uh, with only one pawn on the board white cannot win the game still it's a thematic draw so instead of this move after d takes uh after move c1 the promotion of the knight you cannot pick up the knight you have to play now king to um uh, king to b1 obviously if you play here king to b2 then you get to fork on uh, d3 really really wild stuff so you lose the queen and also the size of material so it's not working so you have to play king to b1 but now the issue here is uh, that black cannot play queen to b3 if that happens we'll simply play king to c1 and no checks are possible now for black black cannot deliver check on a3 cannot also deliver uh check on e3 both of this uh squares are taken also knight on b3 is obviously not possible because we'll simply promote uh here to queen it comes with the check and again it's game over here for black so that's why black has to play now the move uh, queen to c8 now again we have seen previously queen to c1 is not working because of this motif queen to c7 a queen takes c7 is of course stalemate so i have to play queen to c6 only one square for the king king to a7 and now finally king to c1 but still this is not over now black is fighting here black is playing now a very important move queen to h3 if you promote here to queen again it's not working because of the previous tactical problems we will eventually sacrifice the queen in order to reach the stalemate position you can start maybe just to go somewhere with the king but we're just playing on this pattern we're trying to sacrifice the queen and when you take it out as we said it's a beautiful beautiful stalemate position even if you promote here to bishop it's not working because we'll simply take out uh now the pawn on b3 and the b7 square is covered only with the bishop and the queen uh white cannot win the game so far no checkmate threats are there you can maybe deliver one check but then we go here to uh b8 and it's again a draw white cannot win the game so you have to now 
promote to knight here very very wild stuff only uh, one square is possible now queen to um, c8 is not working it's not a stalemate position if we take it out because uh, black has still access to the b uh, b6 square so in order to stay in the game you have to play now king to b8 and now another brilliant move knight to b6 uh, very very wild stuff the problem is now um, what to do if you play queen to e3 here uh, from black's perspective now it plays simply king to c2 and eventually maybe you can deliver a couple of checks but with the knight and the pawn and the queen on the board the game is over uh, here for black so black has to now pick up uh, the pawn on b3 but now a beautiful beautiful tactic in the end look at this queen to c8 check you have to play here king to uh, king to a7 now we deliver a new check and after king to b6 now uh, queen to b8 the king is lined up uh, uh, with the queen on the b file you have to now step back and now we pick up the queen the game is over here from black very very wild stuff so let's go from the beginning if you missed something so as i said first rook to b7 we sack the rook now we deliver a check you have to cover rook to c8 now we deliver another beautiful check now we deliver another beautiful check we sack the rook decoy the king now uh to the uh, to the back rank now after the check you have to cover now queen to uh, c5 d2 we simply push the power further here on c7 now a new check we have seen queen to c8 now another check we take and now queen to h3 the last try here but now we promote to knight very very important move and now after knight to b6 you can maybe deliver uh this idea uh you're trying to pick up the pawn but we have seen now after a couple more checks the queen be lost uh, will be lost here on the b file so cool very very wild stuff impressive impressive tactical sequence impressive chess composition by johan and afik really really one of the most beautiful most impressive uh, things that i've seen in my life in chess uh, chess history what you say johan and afik read about uh, about him more more please uh, he's as i said really really interesting chess person and i found really 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 great a great uh, chess composition by him he is really one of the greatest greatest chess composers of all time so in the continuation of my youtube chess channel we'll see also other chess compositions by other players by other masters but in my opinion this is this was really one of the most impressive one uh for sure so okay i hope that you enjoyed this uh, chess study if you want to see more brutal chess tactics uh, you can also check out our common chess games played by computers where we analyze some brutal stockfish 16 games and others other top engines and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel See you soon with some more videos and what do we say? Chess is the best, of course.